Hey guys, it's me, uh, back with some more low-effort content. L l listen I'm doing a real thing, alright? I'm working on a real video. Figured I could do this in the meantime. I always wanted to do one of these. I kind of missed the... when it was very, uh, very trendy. I'm kind of on the the late side of things here, but, um, yeah, I could do this, and maybe I'll tide you over until... <laughs> I say tide you over as if people are out there, like, really pumped up for this 100 subscriber YouTuber to put out some more content, but hey, it fulfills my own, uh, I feel like I'm being lazy if I'm not at least putting something out nowadays, so let's do one of these, um, and, you know, let's do something that's going to objectively piss people, <laughs> I'm gonna call this the objectively incorrect Kingdom Hearts character tier list, um, I don't know, maybe, we'll see, maybe I've got some hot takes here, maybe I'm pretty much, uh, you know, just another sheeple, just, uh, I mean, you know, obviously, sort of, no, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, all right, but, you know, let's just get into it. Let's 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 go right into it. Sora, you know, it's hard to get super excited over Sora. I mean, he's fine. He's had his ups and downs. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold him over. I'm gonna talk first. He's had his ups and downs. You know, um, he's had good games. He's had bad games. Like in Dream Drop, I think he's just like insufferable. You know, I, I think uh, his voice is is probably the most off in that game. And uh, I was really worried that Cage Three he was gonna sound like super grating and like so sunshiny and I don't know, they kind of toned it down. Once I heard the I heard the trailer, or like in the 0.2 tease, when it had Sora in the gummy ship going to Olympus, I was like, this is going to be rough. But he ended up being uh, pretty tolerable in KH3. But yeah, uh, I don't really like him that much in 2. Um, I like him in 1. I really like him in Chain of Memories. I think that's probably his best outing, because he's kind of uh, he's kind of um, angry in that game. He's probably It's probably the angstiest he, he ever gets. Um, and I like me some angst, you know? So I'm going to put him in a B. I don't know, maybe that's too low. Maybe it's even too high, but I can't sit here and justify myself every every place when we're going to be here for 40 minutes, which who knows how long this is. I'll see when I edit. it. Um, now, Riku, uh, where is he? I'm going to try to go through like chronologically. Um, they're not ordered that way, but Riku, I think... Uh, I think he's just better. <laughs> he's not S tier for me, but like he's uh he's got more depth to him. You know, I, the the thing with Riku is that like they spent a long time doing like the uh, darkness. Like I'm haunted by darkness. Like come on, man. You know, let's get some new stories. I hope they really give him uh, like a new arc of some sort in this in the next chapter of the series because uh yeah the darkness thing is kind of played out and they didn't really do that in Cage Three, but um there's still like lingering elements of it. But, um, yeah, he's kind of just, you know, he was supposed to be the Keyblade wielder. Comes in pretty clutch. You know, he's only a dick in that first game, and ever since, he's been he's been vital. He's, he's probably been MVP of the uh, the main heroes, if you had to ask me. I mean, I know Sora is, like, you know, dealing the final blows and all that shit, but, like, this dude, is he's doing chores while Sora's sleeping and shit like that? I don't know. You gotta give him props. Yikes. <laughs> Listen, she would have been E-tier if not for the uh, Remind trailer that just dropped. Um... And you know what, if this was uh, 2012 even, she'd probably be even B or C tier, but like, we have just been, we've had the rug pulled out from under us on this character. Um, you know, I don't know that much about Kyrie. She's nice, um, and that's like it. You know, like, I, I couldn't name like five personality traits about Kyrie that are unique to her. Not unique to her, but like, just like, anything that stands out for her. There isn't all that much there, and I really hope, like I said with Riku, with the new story arc, I hope they kind of delve into new waters with her. I know it's like a game that's for kids and shit, but you know what? No, it's really not though, because like these games are made for people who grew up with them and uh, you know, we're all in our mid-twenties now, so give her some shit to do. I mean, the most exciting thing that's happened to her is that she died, uh, which is nice. It's not good, you know? I, and I think this this uh, DLC is gonna, is gonna spruce her up a bit, so that's exciting. Okay. Um, I don't know who would have appeared next chronologically. I guess Ansem, because there's no Disney characters, because they're not important. Um, let me see. Where's Ansem, uh, Secret... I love Secret Darkness probably too much. Um, I actually didn't really care about him th that much until, uh, KH3. I love the scene where he dies in KH3. It's, like, one of my favorite scenes in the game. And honestly, in the series, it's so, uh... I don't know, it's so bookending, like... You got this, this villain of the series, of, like, the first game, who you, you've known since 2002, and he's like, all right, peace out. There's more to seek. Go forth now and seek it. I mean, if I was uh, if I was graduating high school when, when KH3 came out, that would have been your book quote. Ah, oh, I'm going to put him in A tier. Oh, no, that's too high. That's too high. He can't be above Sora, right? Can he? Uh, 
I'll put him right there. Listen, I like I like Anthem Secret of Darkness, especially when he's voiced by Billy Zane. I know, you know, in Cage 3 he's not, or anything after Cage 1 for that matter, but, uh, you know, Richard Epcar does a good job. Okay. Um, I guess if we're going to Chain of Memories now, we'll have some organization members, which I think will probably be, like, the more controversial ones, but... Well, Axel, listen, I'm a basic bitch from DeviantArt, I guess. He's, he's my fave, you know? He's just, like, he's like a smarmy, cool guy, and he kills people. <laughs> You know, that's like, Chain of Memories, like, you know, obviously, like, Disney characters die in the first game, whatever, like, Secret Darkness gets exploded into light by, uh, by Kingdom Hearts, but Axel's, like, a murderer, bro. Like, <laughs> he kills people, and he has fire rings. I'm, like, d like devolving into a, into a second grader again here. Uh, I don't know. He's awesome. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you why Axel's great. You know it. Listen, is he overrated? Yeah, for sure. Of course. But, uh, I don't care. I don't give a shit. He's great. La 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 la. Okay. Lark scene as the OG uh, female uh, organization member. I got, I got a little bit of flack for saying that Shion wasn't uh, wasn't female or that she shouldn't have existed in that Cage 3 video. Listen, I meant like, you know, canonically in, in, in the, uh, you know, in universe, she was like uh, an experiment. She wasn't technically supposed to exist. Just like how like a nominee is telling Roxas in the, in the white room, like, uh, you weren't supposed to exist. That's what I meant by that. I think uh, out of universe, meta-wise, I think she's a good character. Uh, I mean, we'll see how good she is, but uh, Larxene is fun. She's just a bitch, man. Sometimes you just need, like, a total bitch. And, like, that's actually her, like, her entire personality is, like, man, I enjoy that suffering. Pour me some of that suffering. Um, I'll probably put her in B as well. She's she's just, like, so evil. Even in 3, when, like, everyone's getting their redemption at the end when they're dying. Not redemption, per se, but, like, everyone's got kind of a moment of levity or respect for Sora. She's just like, see you, bitch, I'm not telling you nothing. And most, most people don't get that, save for uh, young Xehanort, who we'll get to. Vexen, um, listen, Vexen had a much bigger part to play in KH3 than I ever anticipated, but uh, he's still not, like, super interesting to me. He's he's one of the least interest. not, uh, I don't know, he's gotta be in bottom half of the organization. He's just kind of, he's just kind of a coward. Uh, I don't know, he's like a researchy orient. there's always like, I'm a scientist character. He's just a big, he's a big nerd. I'll put him in the D tier with Kyrie. Okay, Lush. Um, I don't know. I have no strong feelings either way on Lush. Mm, he's got great hair. I'll give him that. <sighs> C. Oh, Repliku. Riku Replica. Listen, I don't know why I have an affinity for Riku Replica. Well, I cannot justify putting him above. Can I? Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> Listen, like. He's like, he's one of the more tragic characters in the series, even after KH3, you know, like, everyone was saying, you know, up to KH3, you know, uh, Aqua and Ven and Terra, like, they they meet some pretty tragic ends in, in Birth by Sleep, but they all get their, uh, their moment of truth in, in KH3. Rika Replica takes one for the team, like, he, he makes a sacrifice in Calm, he does it again in KH3, which, you know, maybe I should dog points for kind of, like, going through that same general story beat, but... I respect him, like, he, he's just, you know, he's just like uh, his original, he, he fucking shows up, he puts in work. That being said, he is literally a character with the word replica after it, so I can't justify any any higher than C. Uh, he'll go right there. Alright, other organization members from Com. Uh, Lexius, man, I don't give a shit about Lexius, I'm sorry. He probably has the least amount of lines out of all of the organization members, right? I mean, like, I get that he's a strong silent type, and especially silent in KH3, like, they couldn't get the... I don't know what the name of his voice actor. I know, uh, who is it? Dave Boat? Um, yeah. Lexius, nothing going on. He's a big boy. Big chunky boy. Don't care. Zexian. Zexian! What? Um, <laughs> one of my favorite scenes in KH2. Um, he, he actually was a lot more involved in KH3 than I thought as well. Although, I don't... I don't know. I like these... Like Marluxia, I don't feel super strongly, but... I definitely identified with the hairdo back in the day. That was like, I mean, not to that degree, but I basically had like the, the, uh, the swoop over the eye going on. Not gonna show that on screen. Maybe someday. <laughs> That'll be my, my, uh, 1000 subscriber special. JK. Um, I don't know, C tier. I like, I do like him more than Marluxia. He's a little boy in Birth by Sleep. He's just a little boy eating ice cream and then he gets corrupted by, by darkness. Kinda sad. But he, he gets his redemption moment. Very good stuff. Alright, we done with Calm now? I think we're done with Calm. I'll kick myself once I realize I... Whatever, it's not a big deal. You know, this ain't labor death here. Alright, let's go to Cage 2 now. Um, I guess we might as well start with Roxas. Uh, I really like Roxas. Um, 
To me, he's just like better Sora. Hot take? I don't know. Probably not, right? IGN said he's a garbage character, and I think IGN's a garb. No, they're not. They're not. They're not. There's not too much water in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but I mean, it's a tropical region. What do you want? Jesus. I don't know. S tier. Uh, is S tier too high? Yeah, he's A tier. I do like him more than Riku, I think. You know, back in the day, like 2005, you know, you hate. I don't know, at least if you're me, if you're like a sort of angsty, edgy uh, middle school boy, like, you know, primary into middle school, um, you like hate every famous person on the Disney Channel. You're like, they're so lame, they're so dumb. Jesse McCartney. But I gave Jesse McCartney a pass because he was in one of my favorite video games. So I love using that clip where he's smashing the computer. I always use that whenever I'm talking about like, <laughs> whenever I'm talking about like the internet or, or like just uh, people online in general, I always use the clip of Roxas uh, beating the shit out of the computer. Great B-roll footage, Roxas. Thanks so much. All right, let's do let's do HPO. Um, gosh, yo, know, Pence. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I just have like I have a really good hate into Pence. It's totally unjustified. You know, he does. Uh, oh, I forgot nominee. Fuck. Uh, I'll get back there. Um, he does a lot. He probably is more useful to the group as a whole than uh, Hainer or Olette. But um, he just looks like a big doof. You know, I don't like his hair. That's really it. I guess he's... Am I fat shaming? Maybe. I don't know. Listen, if I lived in Twilight Town and Little Chef was there cooking up some yummy delights, I'd be I'd be as large as Pence, too. I'd be quite larger, even. I know. Oh, let's... She's a sweet girl, you know. A nice gal. But... <laughs> I really can't justify putting her higher than... than even Kyrie because... She's conscientious about her studies. You gotta respect that. She's that person in the group doing all the work. She's uh, the group project savior. Hainer's definitely not helping with the group project. Uh, I'll, I'll just put her in B tier above Vexen, because she's a sweetheart. Uh, Hainer, listen. If this was Cage 2 era, he'd be probably E or D, but that kick, bro? Come on. that's That takes guts. I love Hainer kick. Probably more than the average person. Yes, I'll admit, the kick, it extends him up at least a tier. And I'll put him right yeah. Listen, I don't know how much you can justify having the Twilight Town crew, you know, in the in this top half. But maybe you can, and that's fine, alright? Love you just the same. Okay. Alright, Cage 2 Oh yeah, nominee. Right. Um Oh uh, boy. I'm gonna put her I do like her a bit more than Kyrie. I feel like nominee just gone gone through more shit. Like I know Kyrie's literally been kidnapped and stuff, but Nominee's been told, like, your existence ain't shit, alright? You shouldn't be around, and I'm gonna commit genocide against your peoples. I don't know, not, I feel like Nominee's just, she's had a harder, a harder road. I'm gonna put her above Marluxe. You know, in terms of the placement along, oh, fuck. In terms of the, uh, placement on the tiers themselves, like, you know, Zexian versus, it, it's all kind of, whatever, I could be convinced otherwise, but. Back to Cage 2 people. Listen. The most interesting thing about Zaldan is his hair situation yeah i'll just put him right there you know i like his weapons i like his uh the element of, of wind is fun I, I just have nothing to i like his voice i guess he got he talks like no yeah uh, the boy yeah the beast yeah it's me zaldin mutton chops no i can't i can't do it what's a zaldin line zaldin quotes what's a line from cage two it's an order why do you hesitate you who has been so who has been so ruthless. Don't I can't. It's a hard voice. Do my eyes deceive me? Does he really have the power to wield the key blade? He's nothing but a boy. I can't. But I'd rather travel light. What shall I leave behind? Bell or the rose? Bell or the rose? I spent way too much time on this. Anyway, yeah, listen, he's got he's not not too much going on for Zaldan. His name's Dylan too, which is like one of the more um, <laughs> one of the more normal uh, flipped over organization names. I guess Lee is pretty normal. Uh, Evan, I guess, although it's spelled even. I don't know. Dylan. There's a Kingdom Hearts character named Dylan. I know it's with an I. Whatever. Uh, I love Demix, bro. <laughs> He's me. He, if there's like a character that I'm closest to, it's him. Like he just doesn't. He doesn't give a shit. You know. He's here to crack jokes, crack wise. He's always like, I'm underprepared for this situation. I'm not the right guy for this, all right? Undersells himself. Actually, he probably sells himself just the right amount. He's selling himself. Not short, not tall. He's just selling himself, accurately. 
I'm not musically inclined, but uh, water's a good element too. I think if I was a if I was an avatar character too, I'd want to be a waterbender. Because you can bloodbend, bro. And listen, I don't care about the ethics there. If I gotta beat you in a fight, I'm gonna bend your blood out. I wonder if Nightmares can bloodbend. It's gonna suck when he's Master of Masters. No, don't, don't put that into the universe. Alright, um... Well, I guess, technically, uh... Ansem the Wise is a calm character. Um... He's a dick, dude. He sucks. Yeah, he kinda comes in clutch in, uh, KH3. Although, it's kinda behind-the-scenes stuff. We don't really get to see, uh... Too much of his involvement in, uh, in plans. I don't know, he's probably C-tier. He's made his amends. He's atoned for his sins. Vexen's atoned, but... Ansem the Wise... Christopher Lee, I mean... It's a big get. Um, la 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 Right there. Again, all subject to change. Uh, Syax. Um, I don't know. He's just so calm. His whole personality is I'm calm except for when I'm fighting. Which I feel like is probably 90% of the population, right? Everyone's, everyone's pretty chill until they're engaged in the fisticuffs. I'm gonna catch some flack for this, probably. He doesn't do a whole lot for me. Yeah, right there. He's fun as Isa in that BBS scene. I like that. That's probably his best, uh, his best scene. I mean, that's just a great scene, period, but... Oh, I love Uncle Ziggy, bro! <laughs> uh, he's probably my third fave. Listen, I don't know, like... I, I always knew since KH2, like, there's more to this guy than meets the eye, which is not a pun, but now it is. God, I hate myself. I hate myself, bro. I don't know, he's like a surfer dude. He's a big bad. Not a big bad, I guess Master of Masters is the big bad, but like, he always knew Zigbar had, had more to do. He was always up to something. KH2, he dies, I'm like, that was weird. He's number two, and for what? And then in Birth by Sleep, he gets beat by Aqua in uh, Keyblade Graveyard. I was like, that was weird. He was helping out Master Xehanort, and for what? And he's like doing shit in Dream Drop, and I'm like, why is he responsible? Like, what? Why is he put in charge of this stuff? For what? Because he's the master of puppets, pulling your strings. I love him. I'm so glad that's where the series is going. Luxord. Hey guys, it's me, Luxord. The Chad Luxord versus the Virgin Luxord. Um, I actually really liked what they gave him to do in KH3. I really like his uh, his death scene as well. Um, if this was Cage 2 era, he'd probably be down here, but, um, man, I think I'd like it more than, uh, yikes. <laughs> I can, like, feel the comments. <laughs> I don't know, right there, right there. Like, I like the time thing. I think he's gonna get more to do. Oh, that's too high. <laughs> he's right there. No, right, right there. <laughs> oh, God. So, so paranoid. I like the time element, uh, I like the gambling thing, I, I know it's kind of surface level stuff, but he's got earrings, I don't know why that I don't know why that would be a pro, I don't have earrings, I'm not like a pro or anti-earring person, I, you know, <laughs> just pointing it out, god, alright, do, do, do. Xemnas, um, I've seen people put Xemnas in like their top 5 organization members, why, you know, he's boring, his whole thing is that he feels nothing, like I know, like, nobody's... Well, that was a lie that he peddled, which is the most interesting thing about him, I think, besides the Paul St. Peter voice, which is great. Indeed. How do you do that, man? I, like, I can't even reach that part of my chest, you know? All, my octaves will never get that low. Indeed. Xemnas quotes. I'm going incognito, because who knows what I've searched. Gentlemen. <laughs> Gentlemen, the hero of the Keyblade. It's me, Paul St. Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, it's me, Paul St. Peter. Hey, Peter, the hero of the Keyblade has embarked on a new adventure. Make sure it's one he'll remember. Now go. Alright, that's quite enough. Jesus, God. Anyway, I don't know, like... He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Okay. Well, we got a lot in C tier. I, you know, I just don't feel super strongly about too many characters, but, you know, the ones I do like, I really like it. The ones I don't like, it's like, ugh. Man, who cares? Like, these are like a negative who cares. This is like a, eh, who cares, but whatever. Does that make any sense? Okay. Uh, I think we're moving on to Birth by Sleep now. I guess we'll we'll stop down for uh, for days. Listen, I'm, I'll redeem myself from KH3. I like Shion. Um, do I like her that much? Yeah, I do. I do. I've really come up on her over the years. I mean, her death hits hard in, in days. Uh, played that in 2009. I don't think I've ever cried from playing a video game. 
I don't think so. I felt it in the chest, you know? I felt like, oh man, that, that hurts. But uh, that's the closest, like one of the closest I've ever... Oh, I guess uh, I did shed a single sexy tear at the beach scene in Cage 3. Not even the Sora disappearing. I didn't give a shit about that. <laughs> I mean, I did, but I wasn't like torn up by it. Just like seeing, it was more so about me and my experience. But I found a way to make it self-centered. <laughs> I was like, man, I've come so far with this series. I don't know. It was, it was like a rite of passage, like a growing up thing for me. Um, the beach scene. But yeah. She you know, picking up seashells with Namine. It was so fucking cute. Alright. Alright, Burke by Sleep Time. Tara gets way too much hate. Way too much hate. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know. Uh, actually... I'm gonna put Tara right here. I love... Oh man, dude. I love that he was the Guardian. It's not even something that I ever seriously considered. That's just like, Nomura's like, you know what, great theory guys, let's do it. You know, they were dropping hints since Dream Drop on that, but uh... Man, that's so fun. That scene is so great. You know what, I think, I think Ven is my least favorite member of the trio, of the, of the Wayfinder trio. I think I'll still put him in B tier. But I'm gonna put him right there, like, he's just at least interesting to me. You know, and maybe that's just a result of like, you already had a character that literally looks and sounds just like Ven. Um, I don't even know Ven canonically is much, much older than Roxas by like a thousand, one hundred years or whatever. How how long ago did that all happen? I really hope it's more than like a couple hundred years. Like, I hope Ven is from like, you know, we're talking about Keyblade Legends of Lore. If, if that if that turns out to have been, you know, like what the, what World War One is to us, which is, you know, a hundred so years ago, it's like, eh, that's not very cool. I hope that all happened like a thousand plus years ago. Should be mythos, legend. Anyway, Ven... Yeah, I don't know. He's naive. I know I know Terra is too, but like it never really goes anywhere with Ven. He's just like I know he's a sweet little cinnamon roll, you know, I like him. I like him fine. Uh, is Aqua my favorite? Probably. She's kind of a know it all. Like she definitely uh reminds the teacher if uh they forgot to assign homework. Uh but she's fun. Actually I think I do I think I like her more than Sora. She just like got her shit together, bro. Like she's you know She's got her LinkedIn updated. <laughs> what am I talking about? She has a regimented sleep schedule. She eats well. Normally those people bore me, because I, I have none of those things going on. But I respect it, I look up to it. In this case. In this case only, okay? Only for Aqua. Also, her hair is great. <laughs> Getting real superficial. Alright, moving on. Ericus is a dick, bro. Honestly, I, I, you know, I'm not a, I'm not really a huge Star Wars guy. I think Mark Hamill does a great job as the voice, but it's not because he's also Luke Skywalker. That doesn't really mean anything to me. Um, although I think it's really cool that it was him and uh, Leonard Nimoy. Listen, like, yeah, I don't. He's he's a douche. <laughs> I, I know sometimes you just need a character who like makes mistakes and fucks up. But uh, I remember being pissed at him during Birth by Sleep. And it's like, could you just think about this for like more than literally two minutes, Ericus? Don't kill your stepson. That's illegal. Oh god. Look at all these unchained people. I know this is unfair, but like, I don't, I don't, <laughs> just get them all out of the way. I said in the KG3 video, I'm not like super well versed on the, on unchained stuff. I'm sure they're fine. I just, I can't properly rate them. If you, if you want, if it makes you feel better, they're like in a tier of their own, which is like, I can't, I can't rate them. Um, and you know, they've never been voiced. I don't have any attachment to them. Like, Ephemer is gonna be right there. He'll be above these ones. I mean, Shrelitzi is dead. She can't be too high, right? Um, I feel like Brain seems cool. He's got a... Then again, he has a fedora. Maybe he's below the dead girl. <laughs> Skull, you know, seems like a nice lass. Don't know much about her. Ephemer has that line in Cage 3. At least I know what his voice sounds like. Oh, he speaks in, uh, in back over too, right? I like a scarf. Maybe he's a heartless. Who knows? I'll put him right there, though. Listen, I'm not... Got no strong feelings on those guys. Vanitas. Hello, brother! Brother! He's like the liquid snake of uh, <laughs> of Kingdom Hearts. Brother, it's been too long. He's so creepy in Cage 3, bro. He's so creepy. I didn't really care about him in Birth by Sleep. You know, even even still now, though, it's like, they didn't give him too much to do over the... I mean, I guess he was in Dream Drop, but like, over the two main games that he's in, he's not super prominent. He's just like, yeah, I'm evil Ven with Sora face. I do love his death scene, though. That's something I've been saying a lot. But uh, when Ven's like, we should have the choice to be whatever we want, like... Not just light, not just darkness, and Vanitas is like, listen, I choose to be a dick, alright? That's my lot in life. Don't tell me what to do, it's not just a phase, mom. And Sora's like, Sora's beside himself, he's like, "This, none of this makes sense, bro. None of this makes sense, shut up. That being said, uh, 
it's hard to be too high on him. I, he's so creepy. He's such a creepo. Is it wrong to like him more than Zemnis? Is it wrong? Is that, is that punishable? Is that life without chance of parole? Probably. Yikes. Yikes, what am I doing? Uh, brother. He's going right there. See, he's not, he's not like doing nothing, but he hasn't done enough, you know? If he, if he was around a little bit longer and just, uh, oh, yo, when he snaps that keyblade, though, that's savage. <laughs> right there. Again, you know, quib quibble quabble with all this, you know, it's whatever. Don't, don't get hung up on the PEMDAS of it all. Okay, Master Xehanort, um, he's just like so deliciously evil. And listen, you know, to quote my friend again, Interlight Productions, he wasn't that bad until he started murdering people. He has some good points. I'll entertain some of those some of those uh, theories he's put, putting out there. I'm going to put him below Riku right there. He's a great villain. I love his bald head. I don't like that I can see the veins on his head in Cage 3. That's gross. Just pop a beanie on that thing, bro. I mean, he has contingency plans for contingency plans, you know? He's like, he's like Walter White rolled into Batman, rolled into Light Yagami. They're all, they're all rolled into one. He's a great villain. He's great. Don't, don't care for, uh, well, I guess, not to speak ill of the dead, but I, I wasn't crazy about Rugger Hauer's, uh, Cage 3 performance for, for Xehanort. Um, I love Leonard Nimoy's Xehanort voice. Keyblade! When he points it, when he points at Ven and goes, Keyblade! <laughs> I love that. When he does little wiggles with his fingers. I don't know if that's a nervous tick or what. A dull, ordinary boy. <laughs> Wait, to go back to Cage 3 uh, voice performances, I want to say, like, I think one of the worst, uh, you know, Will Holland's great, but the the worst uh, performance, or just worst reading of a line in the series is possibly when Aqua looks up at the end of Cage 3 and goes, he did it, he summoned Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> like, can you, like, it's kind of dire, bro. Can you, like, put a little more oomph into that? He did it. He summoned Kingdom Hearts. That goddamn maniac. That lunatic. That bastard. We must kill him. Like, Aqua, you alright? Are you just kind of phoning it in? She's like, listen, I, I've been in the realm of darkness for 10 plus years. I, I don't have the energy to expend. It's fine. I'll give you a pass. She was sleepy. Low energy Aqua. It's fine. Yo, young Xehanort. He sucks. I'm sorry. He's, like, E tier for me. I'll put him above these guys because at least he does stuff of interest, but uh, I think his best moment is, again, his death scene when he's just like, I'm still a dick, bye! <laughs> it disappears, which is like, it's hard for you to talk, bro. Like, you're destined to go back in time and then, and then fail with your ambitions and your plans. Your time in this world. Poof. He jacks Luxord's whole time travel shtick. Like, come on, get your own thing. Sick Keyblade, though. I hate his boss fight in Dream Drop. It's so annoying. All right, listen, I don't... Tirithi, you know, probably my favorite uh, favorite new Pokemon. I'll put him in D tier. Uh, I'll put him above Vexen. Above Olet. Uh, he's a savage in the final world. You know when Sora shows up, he's like, God, this dumbass. This is like pinching the bridge of his nose. God, could, I, could they send like someone with a little more up there? Like, <laughs> gotta explain all this shit to him? Come on. All right, foreteller time. Uh, listen, they all cosplay as animals, so they can't be too high. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Look, I think they're all nice enough. Um, although, I don't really care about Gula. I don't really care about Envy either. Ava's nice. Or is it, is it Ava? I don't know. Someone reminds me. I know they literally say it in the KH3 secret ending, or the epilogue, but I don't remember. Um, a set is fun. He's basically Terra. Which, are these characters all gonna be, like, related to, uh, our, our main heroes in some way? I don't know if I would like or dislike that. Probably dislike. Envy's fine. Or not Envy, uh, Ira. Ira? God damn, I don't know. Master Masters is so fun! He's so fun! That's the best part of that cover. I just watch those scenes. I just go on YouTube and type in Master Masters scenes. He's so funny. Who is he? He better not be anyone on that top row. I've seen people uh, suggest that he's any of those three. I I've suggested back in the day that Zigbar was Master Masters, as I talked about in my KH3 vid. Some people think he's time-traveling Sora, which... <laughs> I probably hate that too, but may, prob I definitely hate it less than it being Demix. Like, listen, just because Zigbar happened to be an organization member with a more interesting past than we had first assumed doesn't mean everybody has to have that, okay? Demix can just be Demix. All right, that was a uh, that was a mess. That was a disaster and a half. A lot of people in C. Um, you know, I've got a solid top group here. Maybe unconventional. Maybe super, I mean, Axel at number one is super conventional. It, like, it, it makes me, it almost makes me nauseous that I did it. Like, 
It's like how I put Charizard as my number one Gen 1 Pokemon, and I totally walked that back after Gen 8, because, god, they just, they're like, it's time for your monthly Charizard supplement, and guess how you take it? <laughs> guess how the supplement is administered? Yeah, I'm gonna bump Charizard down retroactively. That's not gonna happen for Axel, unless he does some terrible shit in uh, Cage 4, which, you know, I mean, he's murdered people, so... Clearly, that doesn't have too much of an impact on my my tastes for uh, for characters. Uh, yeah, so Axel at number one, Fedora Man at number zero. Okay, thanks for watching. New actual big boy video coming out, which with actual depth to it. Hope you enjoyed my low effort content. I put it on while you're cleaning. I don't know. I guess that would have been better to say at the top. <sighs> okay, that's enough. Click subscribe. <laughs> okay, bye guys. See ya.